I think this episode is going to be crazy. And the only reason I say that, well, obviously, with how last episode ended, but it's actually called Behind the Mask. What's up, Dopper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 53. This one's called, like I said, Behind the Mask. I'm so excited. Last episode, we had the Golden Dons and like finishing their work and saving Kitten popped off. Langris handled Yagos very well. I didn't even talk about his magic and how strong it is. It is super strong, but he also is a dick and a douche. And, you know, we can see that even when he's using his magic in battle, you know? Um, you had William handle Brox very easily with his Mistletine Seed, and then you had Yuno handle Lagus very easily as well. Bell just popping off with him just with that wind magic is just insane. But with the way it ended with Yami saving Vengeance from Lotus and then saying, I need you to take that mask off or will you? Shit's gonna go down, and I'm ready. So I say... Let's hop right on into it. I'm ready for this episode. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Haikyuu, Jujutsu Kaisen, and many more in the future, check out that Patreon down below, always available for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment. It really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys oh so very much. Uh, let's hop into it though. Black Clover episode 53 Behind the Mask. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's on his tippy toes. <laughs> She's actually pulling on his face. That's hilarious. This <laughs> mummified shrimp. <laughs> what does she think he's gay? They're like brothers. <laughs> she is getting the wrong impression. It happens. Whoa there, Charmy. Whoa. After battle snack, sure does hit the spot. <laughs> He's munching on it. Okay. Bro, Bell is hilarious. Way too horny for a, uh, an air an air spirit. <laughs> Your giant forehead. You're built like a grade schooler. This was not what I was expecting this episode. I was expecting some other stuff. This is not it. Kuro <laughs> Vice Captain of the Golden Dawns. This is not the first time Asa stood up to elites for his friends, and I love it. You punk. You tell him, Asta. Asa's a real one. I love him. And I feel so bad that Finral agrees and also is so super insecure about his own powers. I can't blame him because of his bitch parents, but I just feel bad. Well, 
ダニエルさん俺のことはバカにしても構わないいくらでもな<laughs> だからうちの隊員のこと Oh yeah It's probably the first time he's raised his voice to him right who knew you could look so scary more of the slime from fucking Yagos He's pissed that Langris took his arm That's why he has him in there probably can Finral come in and do something? I hope Finral would smack Langris down and save the day right now. It's literally a slug. That looks disgusting. I'm saying... You better watch out. No, he's just coming in for a big jump. Yup. Gonna is what he's gonna launch him? I knew it was gonna be a big jump. Told you. He's not he's never running away. Ooh, the nice tele there see they're, they've worked on that so much during the Veto fight. They're so intact with it. I love it. Boom. Perfectly. Ooh, with the sword in his mouth. Hit another little three oh nice teleport. Nice. See, even though Finral support, he's the best support, bro. That's what I said. He's not the strongest himself, but he will support his people to make them better, and I love him for it. Now to the good part. Woo! Yes, I would agree. Ooh, and that's probably deeper than voices or their builds, their key. He does have the white hair like he is also loved by Mana or one of Lick's people, you know? ノロワルタコ。私はとある貴族の家で暮らしていたんだ。だが、その貴族の跡取りがいなくなると、私はその家に跡取りとして迎え入れられた。さらに義理の母からはひどい虐待を受けた。子供の頃の私には地獄のような
That's hilarious. Nomity noms. Nomity nom nom nom. <laughs> Look how weird this group is. They're just munching nom noms. <laughs> He was one of them. What do you mean? That's my boy, you know, standing up for him. To be Wizard King? What do you mean? Now that's facts. They'll randomly meet each other out of nowhere. Hell yeah, you don't exist, Langris. Nope. What, what? Were you guys arguing or something? What in the world happened here? <laughs> I am also very curious what they were after. Because they, they did only send three of the eight generals, you know, even though we, they knew our defense was weakened due to intelligence. Oh, they learned a bunch of info? New generals, I see Mars, yep. Oh, ah la la la. There's no way it's the end, right? I swear that episode went by in like three minutes. What the f well, another fantastic episode of setting up more stuff. Now, do I think William actually is licked? I don't know, especially with how convincing that story was and how Yami said it really doesn't seem to be lying, how he's not showing any illusions with magic, the scar seems to be legit. Do I think William is licked? No. Do I possibly owe you guys $5 because we did do a bet? Probably. We don't know yet for sure though, so I'm gonna hold off on that. But. He does have white hair, which does make me think he's a child of mana or similar to how, I don't know. I'm definitely curious on more answers with that. I, I love how it's a mystery and it's been played as a mystery for so long. Like they're really not letting up with any of these answers. I, I hate Langris, obviously he's an elitist douche, but I love how Finraw was able to stand up for him, not himself, but his friends. That's one thing that was very apparent himself he still is very insecure about and is very doubtful of his own potential but his friends they have proven time and time again how reliable and dependent they are so he will not take any slander to them to the black bulls i appreciate that immensely i love how we work as a team to get rid of yagos immediately even also with just his mouth you know charmy with a little explosion and then finral with a great support he's a fantastic support um they it came, became reality later it's like man we're the worst team and we picked the fight with the best team this is not good but i, uh, I the story was so interesting the magic the world tree magic i would be similar to julius i'd be like man that magic is so cool so crazy you have to join the fucking magic knights and then the mask was made by julius i love that little touch so curious about more about William, the noble he was illegitimately a child of. Maybe we'll get more of that backstory. The the new generals of the new era when it comes to the Diamond Kingdom, they gathered a lot of information, so the next invasion they actually do will be crazy. It makes sense why they only sent three of the Shining Generals, because the other five were all right here. So we didn't send our actual strong ones, and Mars is one of them. So it's going to be good to see him again. I... I don't know how that's going to work out, if he's going to be a very big enemy, if we're going to be able to convince him, give him some talk no jutsu, if we're going to kill him. I have no actual idea, but I am ready for it. I am here for it. These episodes are getting me so invested. I love it to death. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below, like always. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to follow me on social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter. Check out that Patreon if you guys want early access full length. Have a great day, you guys. Peace out.